everyone. Happy Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So today, um, Our Lady of Mount Carmel presented the brown scapular to St. Simon Stock. Whoever dies clothed in this shall never suffer eternal fire. So just a prompting to if you have been enrolled or not enrolled, if you haven't been enrolled in the scapular, um, that, is, that is out there, that is available. Um, good morning! And she is the patron saint of Chile. I didn't know that, actually. Um, and I think my mom and dad are joining us, and Jordy and Scotty. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, there's my mom. Siete. Good morning. Hi, guys. Hi, Jilly. I'm hi. trying to get the boys going. Hi. Bottle. There they are. Hi. Okay, say, guys, say hi, Jordy. <laughs> this is awesome. We're gonna. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Tori. Hi, Scotty. Hi. Hi. Hi, Caroline. I'm being forced to be on here. Uh, yes. <laughs> I think you guys are Kristen's proxy. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna state our intentions for today, and then you guys can go ahead and lead. Okay. Okay. From Robin, please say it per intention for my niece Megan, a young single mother who said yes to life, who is now six, week old, six weeks old and Megan has to return to work next week at her warehouse job. She can't find ch child care for her weekend shift. So just praying, praying for them that they find the appropriate care. Um, I'm like, is she close by? I'll watch a new one. <laughs> uh, from Allison, could you please pray for Linda and her family? They are taking her 24 year old son, Zachary, off of life support. Oh, oh. oh, so we want to pray for them. And then from Lucy, please pray for my friend and co-worker, Laura, who has suffered through an unexpected divorce only to rebuild her life and find new love of her life. And he has stage four cancer and it is spreading. Please, Mary, cradle them in your arms. And we want to pray for everyone here. And then do you guys have anything specific you want to pray for? I just want to pray for the country and our church. Okay. Dad? I, that's, that's a great one. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff going on. Just, you know, I pray for everybody and everybody's intentions here. So, uh, pray for Jordi and Scotty here. They're going to do well. Yes, they are. <laughs> George's like, when's my breakfast? <laughs> All right. You guys want to go ahead and lead? Sure. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus. Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace. the Lord grace. is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Oh, Mary, oh, Mary. Praise the Lord. The Lord is with thee. Grace. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy Lord Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging of the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning of thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The four sorrowful mysteries Jesus carries his cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, yes. the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy <laughs> Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth mystery is the crucifixion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yeah. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, yes. the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, yes. the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb. Jesus. Yes. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be with the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Hail, Holy Queen. Give us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen. Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for the Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruined souls. Amen. Amen. Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thanks, guys. They're gone. Can we them out? They're gone. They, they, they. <laughs> what do you want to say? Hey, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Let's ask you a question. A question. Of course. Yes, Daddy. Yes, I am. <laughs> We're going to Miami for Scotty's birthday. Miami. Yeah, Miami. Yep, Miami. Miami. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Did you get the answer you want? Mm hmm All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Scotty, I haven't forgotten. No, he never forgets. We hear about it every day. No, I know. Uh, I, know. I think Caroline's going to join. Okay. You like, the right. cues that, you like the cues that uh, Jordan gives Scotty all the time? <laughs> yes, I like it when he points at Scotty. Like, come on. I know. He does. <laughs> he does. He does. Do you want me to stay on for this, or do you two want to do it? We can do it, or you can stay on, Mom. Whatever you want to do. She read it. She should. Stay I on. did read it. I did read it. I just don't. Yeah. I, I'm, I feel like Father I'm, John would be really great to be on here right now because I'm like. Mm. You need Caroline. Oh, there she is. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Hello. How are you? Caroline's in Westfield, right, Caroline? Can you hear me? Oh no. Oh, are you yes. in Westfield today? Carolyn. Maybe she's in Can Long you hear me? We'll find out. I'm in, yeah. I'm in Westfield. Oh. oh wow. How's my connection? Not nice. great? Is it nice there? Not great. Are you on Wi-Fi? It's raining. I am. Oh. Um, let me move and see. Maybe, let's see. Let me see here. Um, okay. Okay, let me see. We're, Mom, you want to tell them how your shoulder's doing? Move. Good. Six okay. weeks on Monday, I'll have, so I'll be good. Nice start therapy. I th I'm channeling my inner Kristen and walking across a house here. Let's see. <laughs> Where's little Jilly? <laughs> is it any? Is it any better? Is it any better over here? Is this any better? I think, so. I, think so. it, I can hear you more clearly. Yes. Yeah. Do you want me to try to go away and rejoin and see if that helps? Yeah, but stay there. You seem better. You seem better. Okay. You're I'm good. freezing. Everybody. Oh, shoot. Um, you can sign right, off gonna... and then come back, maybe? Yeah, let me go out and I'll come back. Let me try. Okay. The sound is better where she was. Where? You mean originally? No, yeah, like she's better wherever she is now, I think. Yeah, I, yeah it seemed like it was. I don't, she came in for me, so. But it's different for. But. Yeah, she was coming in, but the sound was better, but it was kind of delayed. Um, okay, so. Let's. So basically, we'll go over the highlights and quotes from the meditation on judgment. So Christ will judge between the living and the dead. And that's from Revelations chapter 20, verses 11 through 15. So, where, so what do you do? Go back and go through the Bible then? Oh, consideration. No, I mean, it's just kind of nice to have these different meditations. Um I think my question, and this is where, like, I wish Father John was here. Um, well, there it is, I see. 
So I would have questions for him too, because I always think of the final judgment as our judgment. But this is the yeah. final, final one when he comes again. But aren't you already judged? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. And then, like, I feel like I can never atone for everything I've done wrong. So I'm like, because justice basically is the atonement for your sins, right? Right, right. Well, that's why you say rosaries and do pray for the Pope so you get a plenary indulgence and that works towards that. <laughs> I know, but I don't think it's like a point system, right? Like, it's, oh, I don't know. But, but, you, but, you, but you will, right. I mean, isn't that the Divine Mercy Sunday, too? Because that takes away all temporal punishment. Yeah. He gives us great gifts. I mean, so right. can, answer us this. So we, I always think more of the judgment as when I die is my judgment, and I'm judged, right? So the final judgment, is that where everything is just made known? Well, that was a question I had, because when, before I read this, I was like, is this about, like, our judgment, but then when I was reading it, it was, it sounded like the final, the final judgment where he's like separating the sheep and the goats. And so I was like, is this at the end or is this just well, for what, us? Yes, that's what I took it as the final judgment. And I've never really delved into the final judgment because I always thought I was judged when I die. So you're judged, right? Right. So I don't, yeah. The final judgment has to be just the separation and maybe all things been made known. <laughs> Nothing will be secret, right? All will be made known. Right. This is where we need Father Johnny. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Well, and um, then some people were saying here, yeah. at final judgment, you can get out of purgatory. Well, that would, well, that would make sense. That it would it, be when you have immediate judgment when you die, and the final judgment at the end of the world, yeah. There's the Bema seat or the judgment seat of Christ for all believers one-on-one. -on -one. And then the white throne seat when Christ judges all those to not, who do not accept him. Well, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> That's so good. I know. I, like, I, uh, Mom, what did you say? They said, yes, your mom is right. All made known. Oh, at the end, at final. Right. Well, wasn't there somewhere in here where he said nothing will be secret? Let, let's see. I think yeah, was... that's, that is the, yeah, right. That we, nothing will be hidden. No, everything. It said, therefore, whatever has, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. So there's nothing concealed that will not be revealed at final judgment. So but I guess already, that. But, but you're already judged, right? I mean, you have your individual judgment. Yeah, that's what so that's I the, What is the difference between the general judgment and, the, and your individual judgment? Uh, <laughs> is, than, there a, is there a priest on right now? <laughs> exactly. I think it's we do need a priest because I don't want to confuse people. I, I don't, I, I am not sure. Normally there is someone on here. And I know Father Johnny's going to join us not next Friday, but the next Friday. So oh, he's maybe gonna you could ask him. So we're, he's going to join us on the thirtieth, and then he's also going to be with us on the final day. So any questions that we have, and I, we can also um, I, we can also ask him today, and then we can post it in stories. I think one thing that I read that I really liked um, it says, oh gosh. Now I can't find it, but it said something about God has already given us absolutely everything we need by grace and sacrament to ensure that we never need to hear those words of condemnation. So it kind of, for me, it kind of was like, oh, wait a minute, you already have what you need here. You know, like it, it, well, it made it less scary that that statement to me made it less scary because you already have here what you need. Mm -hmm. Um Right, anyway. right. We have the sacraments, and we have to turn from sin. That's right. the tough one <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then also, be, by rejecting grace and less life, one already judges oneself, receives according to one's works, and can even condemn oneself for all eternity by rejecting the spirit of love. I think 
Yeah. yeah. There was something. I think. If you go. The other thing that I I read That's here that interesting. I interesting. Thank you. What What did you see there? Um, your mom is right about the personal judgment that is the judgment seat for everyone who has accepted Christ. Oh. Uh, immediate death is when the dead are resurrected. Mm. Martha's saying final judgment is when the dead are resurrected. So. So it must be the end of purgatory. And then answer. you're in heaven or hell for eternity right. and it's all right. finished. Oh jeez. <laughs> this, this is a lot. I'm like This one's really intense and I don't feel worthy to talk about this. Like, uh, it, um, it, it, because it's not it, you know, we I mean we condemn ourselves at our own judgment because we know ourselves what we've done wrong. So it's the full re revelation of our life. Right. right. But the difference between the two, I guess I never worried if I made it through the first one. I was worried about the second. <laughs> the first one I'm worried about. Yeah, exactly. I was more focused on the first one. One yeah, thing that me I. Me too. Like, can I get through that one? Yeah, one exactly. thing. One... Who the second one will be a breeze if I make it through the first <laughs> the, the one. The one thing I w read in here, which I thought was interesting, was it said. Um, much more frequently, we encounter the work of evil under the cover of um, subtleness and thus yes. often miss its movement. The evil one works most effectively in gradual urging hearts away from the love of God first and finally into dist distaste and hatred. And that reminded me, when I read that, that reminded me of the book, um, the C.S. Lewis book, Screw Tape Letters. I don't know if you've read that. Um, it's amazing. It's one of my favorite books. But the whole mm -hmm. premise of it is it's an interesting book and but the whole premise is that this devil or worm or something is getting into somebody to pull them away from god but doing it in very subtle ways um and that sometimes the evil doesn't have to be this big spiritual attack that you can recognize but it can be really subtle things and so to be able to look for that that was really mm -hmm. that was kind of eye-opening to me i was like oh no Right. Am I am I am I missing am I missing those gradual I, separations? And I think I do that a lot, and I don't realize it because, like, and I thought it was interesting just before that because we I always think like evil is just going to be ugly and it's going to just show its head very you know like, and even Father said evil is only visible visibly manifest when the devil deems the matter urgent such as when a great good is at hand, that in evil terms must be opposed. And then like Caroline said, much more frequently we encounter the working of evil under the cover of subtlety, being subtle, yeah. and thus so often miss its movements. Yeah. So, yeah, it, the evil one works most effectively in gra gradually urging hearts away from the love of God. And in darkness. Yeah. To hide it's, himself. He likes yeah. to Right. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody um, said this is why the St. Michael's prayer is so important and can be so powerful. Oh, did they? Somebody said that. Yeah, that's why the St. Michael's prayer can be powerful. Mm -hmm. It's very much needed. <laughs> yeah. Here, uh, I think the point is to know God is merciful, but he will not withhold judgment. Let's see. There was also something that said, let's see. Hmm. Oh, this person, the first yeah. judgment is private and occurs immediately after death. The final occurs on the last day at the resurrection. The judgment does not change, just the manner in which it is revealed. So all sins are revealed. So everything is revealed at that time. You won't yes. care. I mean. I think so too. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there's That's a good reflection. Healing <laughs> prayer of protection is wonderful. 
That's hopeful. I like this question. How do we approach the topic of judgment in modern culture with family and friends? Because we do not like to talk about heaven and hell and its radical implications, discomfort, or even conflict in contemporary conversation. I thought that was a, an excellent point because like so dead on for me, like I don't like to talk about it with others. <laughs> no, and when you think of like, like they always tell you to put death before you, yet nobody even likes to think about that. You know, I mean, like, that's exactly what you're saying. In the conversations, you can't even bring it up. And yet, that is what's so critical. Right. We're trying to right our wrongs. Yeah. You know, when you, you fought, like, I fell so quick and everything changed. And it's just like, you just realize how quick it can change. I don't think we think it can. I mean, that's a natural human mm -hmm. preservation. And yet, it, you know, it. It does, it can. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a, this is definitely a harder topic, especially, you know, if you're for people that are converts, because it's just a different purgatory is, is a different concept. And then is it, okay. you know, one question, uh, one question I have, and maybe a lot of people are asking this, when you're in purgatory, you're only going to heaven, correct? Yes. You're not. You're judged. You're not. You're judged, and then you're just waiting yeah. for the aton atonement. Okay, because I think you're, you're some people. You're being cleansed, right? You're being purified, or you're becoming golden, or whatever. You're being molded. <laughs> of course, you get molded on. Right. Yes, yes, you're already judged. Yes. So that that is that is for a Catholic. Is that unique just to our Catholic faith? You being a convert, I think. I think like so. Mary. Yeah. Like those are the problems. What were the pro? What are the real problems? You know, because you have a lot of. I have a lot of friends that aren't Catholic, and they have a problem with Catholicism, and and those are the things, right? Yeah, I mean, be... say that again, Joe. Oh no, go ahead. No, I mean, I think the big three are probably you know the the Eucharist, and then. Mary and purgatory. I mean, those are probably the ones. Those are the ones. Right. Mm -hmm. Or right. the Pope. I hear well, that. that's, well, that's where the Eucharist comes in, though. That's really that success. Well, I think it's also sometimes the idea of papal infallibility because people say, oh, well, your Pope can just say something and then everybody has to follow. But that, but which it's only true. happened, what, two times in. Right. Of all history. They of all history. So it's kind of, that's kind of like a little caveat that people use. But no, I think it's mostly the idea of Mary, and then I think a lot of purgatory. That's a lot of the different part of it. But once you get to the Eucharist, then the rest of it kind of, falls it, fall, it kind of falls into place, I think. Um, I mean, Scott Hahn, if you, if, if you are oh. thinking, you know, if you are in the process or you're thinking about becoming Catholic or exploring, I think reading anything from Scott Hahn and, and Rome Sweet Home is really easy to understand and and it's a really good book to read um but yeah this is different and and i think a lot of times in our culture people don't want to talk about death anyway and especially this whole concept which we pray for every day right the prayer of a happy death right, right. and all that like father william talked about and so the idea of just the idea of death is like kind of taboo so then judgment is like that next step that, but think, but um, that's it. That's the that's the devil again. I mean, you can't think about death. Like he's cre he's he kind of has his whole overall the culture. You know, don't don't think about that. Right it's one of the tricks. I <laughs> oh no! Well, I love Saint Teresa of Avila. What does she say? She's like she can't wait each day. You know, she gets that much closer, and she can't wait. You know, I just love right. Saint Teresa of Avila. <laughs> right? Yes, I do too. Um. I was going to see which question. Oh, is it Rome Sweet Home? What was it? I, I think that was called Rome Sweet Home. It's a good book to get because there's so many, there's so many right. ex-Catholics or there's so many, I don't, I don't think we're the majority anymore. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, we can definitely, um, 
when Father Johnny joins us, he can address all of this because like like you said, we're just all trying to um, figure this out. Somebody said, this is why it's a good general confession is so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it seems to always come back to that. It's kind of interesting though, isn't it, that we're doing this chapter on the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and the brown scapular, which is also the protection. Isn't that weird? Well, it's that not is weird. weird. It, it's not and, really weird. It's probably. Yes, you know. it's probably the whole. And, and um, yeah, so I, my mom had us enrolled in the scapular. Mom, it was like in high school, right? Yeah, you were, I think you were 16. Um, Christian must have been like 12, 11 or 12. Yes. Yeah, and um, I don't think a lot of people know about the brown scapular. I, I don't. Um, what can you explain it? Because I don't. What is it? I don't. I always hear people saying they don't take it off or they wear it. What is it? Is a cross? It, 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 it is like a, a a replica of like a garment mm -hmm. of, of the of the of the nuns. I mean, that's what it is. I have one on. I mean, we worn it for years. It's your protection at death. Mm -hmm. your, your soul won't be lost. Right. Okay. So like, but, but you need to be enrolled in it. And that's something I never really knew either. A lot of the, the uh, you know, there are parishes that will do it, but it's kind of a lost. I think a lot of Catholic schools used to do it. I don't know that they do it now. Maybe there are, you know, it goes through cycles, but families need to be enrolled. And we just happen to have that priest that time. And he enrolled the four of us. Well, I see it offered though sometimes in the bulletin. Well, that's what there are. So they are, you have to watch for it, but you have to even know that you need to be enrolled. So once you're enrolled, you don't need to have this blessed all the time because they break and they mm -hmm. come apart. But there's great promises with it. And I think that's that's why so many, you know, you wear it. I know Father Altier used to be like, don't even take it off in the shower. Don't. A lot of people slip in the shower. Don't take it off in the shower. I know. And I was like, <laughs> okay, Father, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, Mike's car. But, you know, a lot, a lot of people here have it, and they say they don't take it off, or they have one. That's really interesting. Oh, because there's such great promises with it. Okay. The, the promises are phenomenal. I mean, that you'll be protected. I heard of a story of a, a group of prisoners. It must be prisoners, and they all had gone to confession, and they were lined to be executed, and they all went to confession, but one, because he thought he didn't need to. He had the brown scapular on. And at the point of his death, the scapular flew off. And I always think, it's like, there's probably a story. But, I mean, that's the power of them. I mean, there's just such power with the scapular. But you don't want to mock God either. <laughs> I guess at the same time. Well, that was like Diane said that about um, her brother last Friday, was it? Mm hmm Or, oh, gosh, I'm sorry, the days, but how... Um, he was enrolled and he had been wearing it, but then like some, like he was in the hospital or hospice or something. Right, and, and they she, take him off. And yeah, and she prompted, um, I think his his son or uh, to to find the scapular and he and they put it on him and then he passed away. He died. <gasps> yeah, they don't know what they are. Mine, they cut my they cut mine off and it was in the hospital. They don't. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think I loved, um, someone said, uh, it's like wearing a prayer. Um, oh, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, mom, yeah. you are awesome. You do know a lot. We, we <laughs> I, I take that for granted because we just always talk about these things. Um, yeah. So next, next week is even more uplifting. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do the next meditation is on hell. Oh, so. oh goodness. But, but has anybody read The Devout Life by Francis de Sales? It's much more intense than this. I, I love I, to me, the book is, It is a book that has saved so many people's souls. Because it's actually an open letter to a woman on how to strive to be holy, to, to be saved. And, and this, mm -hmm. is, this is very light compared to what he... <laughs> it's yeah. a great, this is a great book. But The Devout Life is, if you want to get intense... Oh, wow. What is that? What is the one about they went to the hospital? Yeah, lost her husband. Yeah. Oh, that's that's from Martha. Yeah. 
I almost had Brian wear his when he went to the hospital, and I thought exactly that. They were going to cut it off him. They probably would have. I wish I'd still put it on him. Oh. I think if you tell them, they're very respectful, but they, they sure don't understand what it is. It's like, what's this? <laughs> yeah. Good way to educate, right? Right. Yes. Good way to evangelize. That's right. I, there is someone, um, oh, Christine, like, she lost her husband. But I noticed in her stories, like, she has hers, like, right here. Like, it's, like, literally, like, worn like a necklace. And I, I never thought of doing that, you know, because normally it's... I've seen people with them. They wear them outside. Yes. Yeah, like Josie and stuff. Like I, yeah. I never thought to do that, and because oh, I think it's the sister, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Like they're sisters who make them. Like they hand embroider yeah. them, and they're beautiful. Um, mine always get so like like, and then I'm I'm terrible. I'll take it off. But they get so kind of stingy. I don't know how to, explain, especially if they get wet and stuff. I don't know, but. No, they get oh, she's going to put it back on now. Yeah, and I always wonder, could you wear it as a medal? Like, there's, like, I think there's, like, yeah, usually next to your heart. I like that. That's beautiful. So, I need to. Well, there are, more, there are medals, scapular medals. I had one for your dad that time and had it blessed. Mm hmm Because not everybody can wear these cloths. Right. Ah, oh, Carmelite Sisters make, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And they're really pretty. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know about those. Oh yeah, mom, they're gorgeous. And then that, like, mom, what you saw it? I thought I should. Anyways, yeah. Pinned one to her bra. See, Deb, I think Gertie did that. <laughs> yes, I must. My mother always, yes, yeah, she wore them. Yeah. She was very, very good about that. Yeah. Uh, oh. You could replace. I have a lot to. I have a lot to learn about the, all of this. Yeah, it's interesting, like, with the Catholic faith, like, I feel like there are, you'll never stop learning. You'll always. <laughs> there's lots, and there's lots of things that had a lots of graces, you know, that, that brought us these. Oh, look at this. Um, Ashley said, mine has pockets so you can slide medals in it. Yes. She has her miraculous I, I medal and her yes. St. Benedictine medal in her scapular. Oh, wow. Which, yes. What do you guys do when you go swimming? That's what I want to know. Wait, if they're mad, well, yeah, there's your problem. So you can't oh. just buy one and wear it. I think you have to be enrolled, I thought. You have to be enrolled, and if that, but then after you're enrolled, they don't have to be blessed anymore, because I always thought I had to get them blessed. They said, no, once you're enrolled, you don't have to get them blessed. We can ask Father John on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it. We'll ask all these questions. This is... So we have so many. <laughs> not um, a lot of answers today. <laughs> no, not as many. Um, oh, she st keeps it on even when she swims. Oh, okay. But then that's where you think you'd want a metal one. The clock ones. Yeah. How do you enroll? We'll figure, we'll, we'll post, we'll find out how you enroll and who makes them and we'll put it in the stories for everybody because I need to I, I imagine oh, there's that's actually probably a, a lot. book there's actually a book called swimming with scapulars there is <laughs> that's what someone says oh wow there's a book for everything yeah my mom does um yeah and they are covered in plastic some of them that's some of them are that's right this one I have it isn't but you're right that I do have one swim any yeah, free yeah, okay. any priest could enroll you. I would imagine a lot yeah. are today because it's our feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Right. Oh, and it's on Pray Novenas Together link tree. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's a simple prayer. For the enrollment. <laughs> Did you read that? That was funny. From Karen. She said, I'm not drowning without it. Mm -hmm. She's well, that's wearing true. it. You know what? That's she's right on. There, there you go. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it's interesting. Right. What a great feast day! It, it is. is. Yeah. This is great. This is great. 
great. And I know everybody is super happy and excited that they got to pray with Jordy and Scotty. Everybody was, everybody's been missing them. They're so funny. Jordy and Scotty, they're so funny. <laughs> they are. They, Jordy can really get into the rosary. They're, they had just gotten up this morning, but he could really get into it. Yes. Yes. He's singing yeah, to he... them. <laughs> awesome yeah. well I think next Friday I'm going to be praying from I'm going to be in the Grand Canyon so it's like where am I every every, oh, every, every, time, girl. every time I've joined I've been from a different I was in North Carolina then I was in Vegas now I'm in Indiana next week I'm going to be in I think I'm going to actually be in Sedona in Arizona so, so, so are you flying from Indianapolis to there you're not going back home you're not no I'm going no there. I'm going back home for a, a, a one day to just uh check on the troops <laughs> do laundry and repack people and go so yeah oh my God. we're just taking the we're just taking the younger two so this is just a, a little small family vacation so oh. um but yeah it's awesome it's nice to be able to travel again for sure oh no. yeah yeah definitely yeah i know um, and I would also encourage everybody, I know a lot of people have seen this, but when we prayed um, with the boys that were from uh, Evansville, Indiana, at the beginning of the week, the two young boys that had done like 502 yes. um, consecutive rosaries, um, share that with your kids. That's really incredible. And he's, Father um, Tyler is going to bring back um, on New Year's Eve. He's going to bring back a larger group. So there's uh, some other boys in his parish that are also. So they're going to come back on New Year's Eve and pray awesome. with us again. It's going to be awesome. That is yeah. awesome. It yeah. is. Right. Yeah, we have some really, we have some really fun and cool and interesting guests coming up in the next couple of weeks. So um, look out for that. It'll be really nice. It's very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Good. Yeah. Father John's on here. Hi, Father John. We have lots of questions coming your way. <laughs> we needed you desperately today. We have a lot of questions. So. Yeah, right. Awesome. So. All, all righty. Well, I'm going to take all off right. and have see fun. you guys. Have bye a great bye. day. Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs>